hello everyone welcome again to my new video and thank you for the response that you have been giving me for my past videos uh, I really can't thank enough and uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel and if you have not uh, uh, watched my previous video please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also watch my previous videos and uh, today I'm going to show you one another application uh, inside teams which you can use which teachers can use and which project managers can use and uh, also students who are uh, going to plan their tasks uh, they can use so the application is called planner and uh, uh, what we are going to do today is we are going to add it in our team and uh, we are going to plan uh, add the planner application and see how to add plans how to add tasks how to assign tasks how to monitor it okay so let's go ahead i'm once again signed in as global administrator or teacher you can see it on my desktop teams application here is my class 1a team i go here and uh, on the this here on the plus section you can see all the tabs here this is the notebook assignments grades which i have already told you in my previous video just click on plus so you will see all the application that microsoft has to offer in teams so you will see a planner application here this is a planner so click on planner and uh, because I do not have any existing plan so I have to create a new plan let me create one so I have created this plan if you want to post about this to the channel you can check this mark or otherwise you can uncheck it click save so planner is actually uh, used for teams which they can organize their task and uh, also assign them and see what the uh, project is uh, uh, going through uh, with the timeline okay so this is the planner application inside teams you can see it in my journal channel so we have three sections here board charts and schedule so in the board it's really like a kanban board you can say uh, so you can see we have our buckets kind of this is the one bucket this is the second bucket let me add a bucket here so this bucket name shall be analysis and uh, let me add a new bucket uh, writing okay let me add one more bucket here and Oh, you can say it mm, testing okay so these are my three buckets which I have added okay now in each bucket you have the option to add tasks okay and assign them let me add a task here Uh, let me set the due date till 31st and assign it to myself click add task you can see this task has been added this is the due date this is the assignee you can same thing do it as in the writing bucket okay okay let me add the due date and assign it to student A at task. Similarly, you can do it in the testing phase as well. So this is how you can add tasks. You can, if you want to add another task, you can just click add task and add another. You can just keep clicking on add task. It will be added. And uh, if you want to see the charts, you can see the chart here. And let's, you can see it. We have two tasks which are not started yet. These are the statuses in progress, which means the task is now under process and it's the activity is going on late which which those who which tasks are not completed by the date by the due date completed are the ones which are completed you can see the bucket bucket wise we have three buckets and uh, you can also see that buckets here you can also start see the priority wise the member wise who has been assigned okay you can group the bucket by assigned to or filter it here okay so this, these are some filters 
you can see if you want to add the label you can also add the label to the tasks I click on here you can add a label here let's say it red let me make it blue okay if, just, if you click on it you can see the full details and if you want to add any attachment you can add it here and or if there is any notes but from the teacher or any other colleague you can add them on the notes here if there is any checklist item you can add the items here comments you can see the comments added here okay so this is how you can add a task and you can also manage them if you want to see the schedule uh, you can see the schedule here it's like a calendar so you can see uh, you have two more tasks here till july 31 okay you can see it here you can also group by progress by due date or by labels okay so this is how uh, a task uh, can be added in the planner application now there is one more thing uh, this planner application is been added in the channel okay in this team in general channel and we can add it the tasks here and we can do it there is also another application which you can use inside here if you see the in the left navigation if you go here click planner now what is the difference between this planner application and that one which we could which we just used this planner application is just like a, you can say an overview a, a high level view a single dashboard view uh, of your tasks you can see microsoft is soon going to uh, merge it with the to do list application and also is going to name it as a tasks application so this application will be named as tasks very soon uh, i will be making the video once once again uh, once that change has been done so you can then use the tasks application to overview all your tasks so as you can see uh, just as i created my tasks here nakash ahmed as a assignee with this uh, uh, planner ta uh, planner assignment and this is the tasks this is what you did you can see it on my screen but you cannot see the other tasks which i created for student a because that is for him okay so this planner application which you just added here in the left navigation bar is just for the overview of your tasks which you have been assigned to okay so you do not need to go all that every time to that application you just come here uh, pin this application you can so add this application and pin it so you will see the tasks here and once you are done you just click on uh, check mark it will be going to the completed phase you can see the buckets here not started in progress and completed okay so this is the difference between the planner application of that one which we just created and this application okay that is why microsoft is going to uh, change its name also because it's sometimes we have been receiving complaints from the users uh, that they get confused between these two planner application because both have same set of ideas and both have same name so they get confused so microsoft is soon going to change it with the tasks app okay so this is that was all in my video today i hope you have liked it and if there is any command if you have anything uh, you need to ask related to planner uh, you can drop a comment or if you need any other application that you want me to make a video to so please go ahead and uh, drop a comment okay thank you so much for watching my video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much